Welcome to the Land Geek Podcast, your resource for information and tips to making money by buying and selling land. Let the Land Geek show you how to make a passive income by working smart, not working hard. Learn strategies and tricks to make money buying and selling raw land today. And here is the man that's going to help you do that, the Land Geek. Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, the Land Geek from thelandgeek.com, and I'm with the man, the myth, the legend, Duran Frazier from ReserveLand.com and now LandHub.com. Duran, I know you slept in late this morning because you can. How you feeling? What's going on? What's going on in the world uh, of Carlsbad, California? Well, I definitely slept in this morning. I have a wonderful wife that sometimes lets me sleep in. I I generally don't stay up too, too late to work. <clears throat> um, but last night was a late night. I actually ended up uh, having a couple of meetings till about seven or eight and got home. And I think I worked till midnight. So, so I woke up with the kids at like six 30, hung out with them. And then I jumped back in bed for an hour or two. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's the life of an entrepreneur. Um, but that's how we roll. That's nice. That's nice. So what were these meetings on anything land related or these startup companies? Uh, y- yes. Uh, all real estate related. Um, you know, the couple of guys that I'm, that I'm uh, working with are, um, they're, they're, they're very large, uh, transactions are, they're, they're in the hundreds of millions, uh, of tr- transaction, transactional, uh, projects that, that need the puzzles put together. So I'm sort of helping these guys kind of formulate ideas, bringing the money guys in. And so that's, that's what I'm doing. So it's, uh, it's, it's interesting stuff. It's stuff that I have connections to that I can kind of help. And so, uh, we're just all chatting together. All right. Awesome. Awesome. So I went to LA this weekend. I'm sorry. And- and uh, well, don't be because when I got off the plane, I uh, I called my wife and I'm like, this weather is delicious. You can see why so many people live there. It, it, that breeze is so good. It, it is good. It's really good. So uh, I get to L.A. and uh, I'm staying downtown. It was like one of the worst night sleeps of my life. I don't know if you've ever stayed by the airport and you're listening to the, the planes come in every 20 minutes at two in the morning, but I got like four hours sleep that night. So the next morning, Saturday morning, I go to this investing expo, uh, sponsored by Realty 411. And, you know, there's all these big companies there. Home Investors is there. Equity Trust is there. Uh, you know, you've heard of a lot of these companies and they have speakers. And so I was one of the exhibitors and it's my first time doing it, right? So I'm completely unprepared. Everyone has like these big elaborate booths. I I had nothing. I had myself. So I thought, oh, you know, I'll I'll collect leads for the Land Geek on my laptop. And there was no Wi-Fi. So I'm literally sitting there on my phone with these flyers. It it was completely the most amateurish uh, exhibit by far in the conference room. But uh, look, I had to start somewhere. I've never done it. Now I know. Okay, this is what you got to do. Mark, uh, I, you know, uh, that's p- actually pathetic that you say that. I'm, I'm saddened that you would tell everybody on this podcast that you didn't prepare. Or it, something. it wasn't that I wasn't prepared. It was that I didn't know how to prepare. It's, okay. I didn't know what I didn't know. Um, I, I'd know, never done it. It's funny that you, you bring up what you just said because I just ha- happened to have a friend who's come up. So you know what QR codes are, correct? I've never been a fan. They've never caught on in my mind because they're, they're sort of one way. It's like, what am I? I don't care to see your flyer by by hitting my my picture button, seeing what this QR code says. Well, this guy that I know very well pitched to us last week about something. <clears throat> the website's called Scanbright.com, and Scanbright um, basically is like a two way communicator. So you would click it, and it would send information both ways. So you would get their information, and you and they would get your information. But it would be like it would be information as, as to what your company's about, what it is, and I don't know if it comes in an email, but it's a really interesting concept. But it, it's for it's for uh, conventions, so that you oh. can walk in and you don't have to worry about you know trying to type in something or do it. It's a QR code. You hit it. It's a two way co- transaction and uh, very very unique and interesting. So uh, yeah, that you know, and for the next expo I do, I'll definitely do that. I mean, I got twenty six some, or something leads. I networked with all the exhibitors and. You know, the great thing about these conferences is that these are these are people that already are invested in real estate in some way or form, right? 
So yep. it's, it's, you know, their worldview is real estate's a good investment. And uh, I wasn't there selling land, although maybe I, next time I should be. Um, I was there trying to help people learn more about how to make money buying and selling land because most of the education there was focused on doing that. But there were, you know, there were some guys there that I actually had done deals with a couple years ago um, that were buying up land from me in, uh, in Treasure Lake. And, you know, finally I, I met the guy face to face. It was, it was really a small world. But, you know, his model is really interesting. And I think the listeners can learn a lot about this. In fact, I think we should start doing this. But he basically markets and has live, uh, you know, informal conferences or meetups locally in Utah, right? So he'll get a group of investors in and he'll just educate them about real estate and real estate investing and his experience. And then afterwards, he's gotten all this authority. He's built his credibility. They'll contact those people that went to that seminar and, you know, try to see if they're interested in either the houses or land that they own and buying it as an investor. What do you think of that model? Uh, it's very interesting. I mean, I think it's sort of similar to you and I sort of on the, uh, I mean, I don't know if uh, we have that authority. I hope we do. Well, uh, I mean, but if we, <laughs> if we, if we went out and spoke for 45 minutes or an hour about what we know, like just like a podcast, we, we would get that authority, right? No, I agree. And, and a lot of that authority also comes from the internet, which is what we're building now. Um, and I've sort of, over the years, I've done some writing, which we've talked about, and, and people sort of respect me for my entrepreneurial views, not so much just my, my real estate or land, um, um, or, or land education. But I think that for us, I think that that would be, that would be a great way to go. Um, but I, I sort of like the, I, I sort of like the internet side of it. So, but I do like, I mean, obviously face to face in person, obviously you're building that real live authority, uh, in front of somebody that trusts you and respects you. So, right. I, right. I like that. Yeah. I mean, it's a different model. Um, obviously it's been working for this company and, you know, th you know, I met a guy from, uh, equity trust, like the big self-directed IRA company. He hasn't been home in three months. Like this is what he does. I know I should say three months, three weeks. Like he goes event after event after event and just gets leads. So it must be working. I mean, they invest a lot of time and a lot of money in these, uh, conferences and I think we'd be missing a big opportunity by not going to these. But you have a different opinion about it, right? You're not so into these conferences. Yeah, I'm not. A, you know what? I, I tell you, there's, I think the hardest part about a conference is that there's so much to weed through. You've got to, be, you've got to really understand what you're looking for. And, and as, an, as an exhibitor, uh, it's hard because you're sitting in a booth waiting for people to come to you. And you're hoping that the right guy comes down that aisle. Right. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I felt like somebody at the red light district. Exactly. Like, hey, how are you doing? And you probably look like it too. And I'm not going to tell the listeners, but Mark had a Mark had a really nice speedo on, and and I think that was his way of attracting people, which I don't think it worked. What do you think, Mark? Yeah, no, I, the speedo. <laughs> I, I left the speedo at home. <laughs> it, it had a picture of Treasure Lake on the front. Right. Um, anyways, um, so yeah, I think it's for me. I'm not a big conference guy. I've been to many conferences before, and I've learned a lot from an educational aspect that they have workshops or they have, you know, when, when they break up and you, and you, and you meet in a group of 10 or 15 people, those are the times I generally tend to learn, um, and, and meet the right people. But when you're walking around at these booths trying to really figure things out, it, you tend to see so much fluff and you don't know who, who is the real player. So right. unless you're really educated in that industry and a lot of the, in, in this case, these people are walking through and they don't know, like they're trying to learn, like, Hey, what is the, what is the right booth to talk to? You know? And if they're looking how to, on how to buy and sell land, to be honest, obviously, Mark. Yeah. No, that's why I think that I'm just saying, like, Mark, you, you probably are the best guy in that room for that. And these people didn't know that. Pro again, probably because you had a booth with a, with, a, with a cell phone that you didn't really know what you were doing. So. Right, right. You know what? And I think there's a lesson there. And it's, uh, you know, look, I, I had very little. The way I got into this was with Realty 411 and. Uh, I'm going to have Linda Pliagas on the podcast, but she said, you know, I had no notice, basically. She said, come to this event. You're going to meet a lot of people. I'm going to introduce you to a lot of people. I'm like, Linda, I don't have anything. She's like, you don't need anything. Just bring your laptop and some flyers. So that's why I did it. It was just basically on her suggestion. But 
you know, would you pay? I, would you pay if you don't? Well, that, you know, she gave it to me comped. Oh, I, okay. I would have had to pay a thousand dollars. Got it. Okay. So, um, so you know, I, I embraced the suck, and I think when you first start something, you need to embrace the suck. You're gonna suck at whatever you do, but look, I wasn't uh, paralyzed by not doing it right. I mean, I went and did it. Now I learned a ton, and it's the same thing with people who are just starting, like with the investors' toolkit. You don't need to spend so much time and energy just on the education, right? Yep. Education is important. Get your base, start learning. But yeah, start making offers, start doing it. And sure, so what if you're not great at it first? You're not going to be. But there's only one way to get better at anything is just doing it. Yep. So you've got to combine education with action, I think, which is yeah. what um, you know I learned. So yeah, it was an awkward eight-hour day being the worst in the room. But look, I'm not going to be the worst in the room again. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, it's, it, people, people tend to think that education um, – Education becomes execution, which it doesn't. You, you know, education is one tenth of the equation. Uh, you have to get out there and actually, like Mike Mark said, take action and, and execute on the plan um, and have a plan in place. Because if you're going, if you're going in there just to educate yourself, look, I love to be educated. I love to learn things I don't know. I, I mean, every day I'm learning something new, and I sort of, I sort of force myself to do that just so I can learn it. And I don't know. I'm not always trying to implement it, but I just want to understand it. Um, but when it comes to when it comes to you know wanting to you know sell land or sell real estate, you have to have a plan in place and you have to execute. By learning it, it's not going to teach. It's not going to force you to execute. It's to force yourself. So and you know it's funny we talked, Mark too about uh, your your uh, you exhibit. I, I'm actually working. I just I'm I'm busy in the process right now. I'm going to be in Vancouver in January at a big mining conference. And we're exhibiting, and uh, which is really interesting because I've I've never done that before. But we're we're putting, you know, we've got our our booth. We're putting our ten by ten booth together, and we're exhibiting, and it's it's mining. And I don't know much about mining, but it should be interesting. So that's great. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll you're you're going to learn a lot, and you're going to network, mm -hmm. and yeah, I I really think those things are worth it. And it's yeah. going to be in Vancouver. Are you taking the family? No, nah, no, it's it's January, dude. It's be freezing. So I mean, there's 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 there is that. Uh, that Whistler aspect, but my family's, I don't, I don't think my kids are going to go up to hang out at Whistler for a few days. I think I'll just go solo. It's a two hour flight for me. So it's not too bad. Yeah. That's, that's, so. it's, it's cold. It's, that's yeah. some cold skiing. It's not spring skiing up there. No, definitely not. Yeah. So, but, that, but that's, that's great. So, you know, I think that there's an opportunity here to combine education with the sales cycle. Right. Yep. And, um, I think if we're just always online, we're missing that, that old school physical opportunity. And today you can kind of combine it. So um, I'm going to tip off my, my tip of the week here, but uh, it's meetups, right? You can just start up a meetup and just, just focus on the education. You don't need to go in there and, and do the you know, hardcore sell. Hey, I've got 40 acres here. I've got five acres here. I've got 10 acres here to these people, but educate them on land, land investing, why land is such a great investment right now. And then afterwards, follow up with them and introduce your property to them. I guarantee it. I guarantee a percentage of those people are going to buy. What do you think? It's all about numbers. It's a numbers game and, and conversion. So, yep, I agree with Mark. You, uh, the more you talk, the more chance you have. So that's, uh, that's, there's, a, there's a lot of truth in that. So there, yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's a. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try the model. And I'll report back to you on, on how it goes. I mean, all you have to do is prepare a, a keynote presentation, and uh, and have a fishbowl out and have them give you your card and follow up with them afterwards. Or have your your virtual assistant make some phone calls and follow up. Yeah, and and uh, and if you guys have never used uh, um, either, uh, what I think is it a keynote or a PowerPoint. It is so simple to put it put, put something together that presentation. Uh, you can go you can go do you know you can go Google some facts, pick them up real quick, throw them in a throw them in throw them in a uh, presentation, and you can literally build a ten page deck to talk to talk to or with to people really quickly and make it look really presentable. I I, I remember building a fifteen page deck. I'd never used PowerPoint before in my life. Uh, I've I'd seen plenty of presentations. So like five years ago, a guy asked me, "Hey, would you present on this?" on this, um, internet marketing stuff. And I said, I, I, I don't know. 
enough. He goes, dude, trust me, you know enough. I said, okay. So I put this presentation in, in I think it was a 15 page PowerPoint. And I had 12 people in the room at a board table that were in awe. And I was like, dude, I nailed it. That was awesome. So <laughs> it's really, it's really, really simple. If you haven't done it, go to keynote, which is, which is for, uh, for Macs and PowerPoint, which is PC or Mac. Um, those are really simple. Open it up, create a slide. They already have slides like pre-set up for you. So it's really neat. But, uh, you know, those are, those are really, really easy ways to, you know, make yourself look like you're super knowledgeable, even if you're not like me. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, it's just another opportunity. I mean, certainly you can, you can, I mean, look, we've been, we've been doing it for 10 plus years, strictly being online. I mean, all you need is an inexpensive computer and you can do this business. Right. Uh, but I do think that you could be missing out on a big opportunity just once a week or once every other week or even once a month, do a meetup and start building yourself as, you know, the guy in your niche locally. I don't know. I think it, I think it, it could really help build your list and, you know, accelerate your, your sales cycle. Um, I've never done it. I'm going to try it. Uh, what's, you know, what's the worst that can happen? I'll exactly. suck at it. And, uh, you know, I, as with practice, I'll get better at it. So, yep. It's, yep. you know, not, and this it goes, doesn't take a lot of time. This goes for everything. You know, again, we're, we're not trying to tell you like, Hey, if you're listening to us, there, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a percentage of people here that are going to go, Hey, I, I don't, I don't really want to buy land. I just want to listen to Mark and Duran yell at each other the whole time. And so, um, but there are a percentage of people here that may not ever go that direction, but this is useful for everything. This is useful for whatever you're working on. Um, you know, meetups, PowerPoints, all these things are things you can utilize in your, in your life. Whatever idea you're trying to come up with is a great, it's a great way to utilize, you know, a, a, you know, in, an in-person meeting through meetups and presentations about whatever you know or you want to execute on. Right. Exactly. So, exactly. So I'm going to start speaking at some of these events and uh, I'll start promoting that in, uh, in the emails and, and the podcast as well. So, you know, depending on where you are in the country, if you want to come out and meet me face to face or Duran, I'm going to get Duran if I can afford him to come out and do it with me. Are you are you interested in doing this? Yeah, I just bought a tour bus, so I think we're ready to go. You did not buy a tour bus. You got the RV, though. That's what I'm talking you're about. Take, you're that taking the, the RV. Bus. That's the tour bus, buddy. Yeah. Um, so we yeah. got to talk about your diet before I, I stay in an RV with you. Yeah. My <laughs> diet's awesome. Um, so yeah, well, very good, very good info, Mark. And, and I want to touch on something that's kind of off topic a little bit. Um, but that'll lead me into my uh, tip of the week. Um, if, if you guys don't know, we've talked about in the past about internet marketing, uh, and Google and the, the algorithm changes with Penguin and Panda. Um, there was a recent change this past week uh, called the hummingbird. Right. And it, it, it based, it's, it's another change in the algorithm, but it basically goes to what we've talked about before. It's just focused on content and, and what uh, people are looking for. So really, really honing in on, on what these searches are. I mean, we used to search for iPhone 5. Now we search for where can I find the cheapest iPhone 5S or C or whatever it is. So now these, now these w- with these geolocations and everything that, that Google uses to sort of track you, um, it's really helping hone in on what on what we're what we as each individual searching for and what would be the best site to promote um, in that search for us individually. So um, so just, you know, be weary that Google's always doing these things. And and in this case, there's another there's another change um, in in the algorithm, which I think is good. I mean, I think Google at the end of the day is trying to make it, you know, take all these keyword stuffing websites out and really focus on what, you know, what, what people want to read or see. Right. Right. So the the most meaningful content is going to, is going to rise to the top is what is basically what you're saying, right? Correct. Correct. And, and in this case, which leads me to my table week, there's a website called crowdcontent.com. Mark said, what is this? And I said, well, it's basically a site that I I can write. Um, and I, I don't think I'm, I'm a great writer. I'm an okay writer. I can write. I just don't have time to write. Um, so I like to find articles and, and I generally will get, go get an article and I will sort of tweak it if I need to. Most of the stuff I do write, like entrepreneurial stuff, I write all that stuff. But if there's like, like I'm working on some very large content pieces uh, for different websites that I, I don't need to really focus in on 
amazing content because they're part of particular pages that will probably be touched on a few times if you're roaming through a website, but, but you, you need content and content is key. So you go to these websites, help you build content, and then you go in and you, you tweak the content. I, I'll go in and I'll buy a, you know, 300 page article and I'll tweak it quite a bit to make it my own. Um, but I just don't have the time to write it generally. So I'll go in, but there's a website called crowdcontent.com, um, C R O W D C O N T E N T.com. And that'll help you. Um, that website's really good at, um, at, uh, at help at helping you come up with articles and, and you can pay a very small amount per word up to like, I think 15 or 20 cents a word, um, for a good article. So, so that, it's helpful for you if you're sort of building, um, that internet piece of your, um, of your project and you need to, you need to start building content and maybe you're not, maybe you're a horrible writer and you need someone to help you kind of write something that you can tweak and make your own. So right. that's, that's my tip of the week. I'm sorry that I'm partially losing my voice, but I talk too much. No, no, it's, it's okay. Um, yeah. we haven't had too many complaints about your voice. Okay. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to send you some, uh, some drops or something to soothe your, your vocal cords. Is that, <laughs> is that, is that, is that what you need? Yes. Yes, please. All right. So, crowdcontent.com and so okay let me just understand this correctly you're going to send them like an idea and then they just write it or a keyword so i want to write about easements then they'll uh -huh. write the article for me uh-huh but they don't know anything about easements well it, that's why you pay the more words you pay the more they research oh i see i see well how about if i just wrote an article and then they just tweaked it and put all the search engine optimization stuff that I would need or I wouldn't know, um, or, you know, the keywords or whatever it is. I mean, do they guarantee I'm going to be on the first page of Google? No. no. What, what am I paying for? You pay for content. Con content is, it is something over time that's very valuable. Uh, you're not going to put an article up today and it's going to rank tomorrow. Yeah, but uh, how, it, how can I pay someone else for content? They don't know. They're not an expert. You're the expert. You're right, Mark, but, but this is for like, if you've got, if you're building a site out and you need, I, like I need, this is how, this is how many pages of content I need, 30, 33, 3,200 pages of content I need. How much? 3,200. 3,200 pages of content? This is for yep. Land, for Landhub? Uh, poor, no, 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 no. It's for different websites. Um, but this is, but, but of that, I, I need, um, of that content, which a, a lot of the key stuff I will be writing, but I have a team of guys that's writing for me um, that you, you won't be able to go write it yourself. Right. So, right. so these guys will go and research where are the, you know, wh whatever, where are the best places to find the paleo diet cheap, whatever it is you're writing about. Um, th these guys can help you. You tell them your keywords, you tell them what you're writing about and they'll go research it and write it for you. Okay. I mean, so, why not? I'll try it. Yeah. It's just, so, it's, it's just money, Duran. It's just money. It's just it money. Is. Well, look, you know, the, the time is more important than money right now. Yep. So, I mean, we can't, we can't do everything ourselves. Yep. Um, although I do think, I do think creating meaningful content is somewhere that, I mean, how long is it really going to take? 30 minutes a day? Um, yep. Yeah, I mean, maybe 30. I mean, it depends on, I mean, you, if you're a good writer, you could write it in 15 minutes. If you're a horrible writer, it could take you two hours. I don't know. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm, I'm a big advocate right now of creating videos and putting up on YouTube, putting up on Facebook, you know, Google plus, because I don't think anyone's reading anymore. Yeah. You disagree? Disagree. You disagree? hundred percent disagree. All right. Well, the stats will, I have to show you some stats, but people, you know, the videos are really rising in the ranks in the Google, uh, search engines. Good. So start doing videos. Perfect. All right. I'm in. I'm in. All I've right. Got, so I, just Mark, Webb, I think I've already talked about, I have 20 million views on my videos. How many do you have on yours? You know, you don't have 20 million views on your videos. Your wife, who's a supermodel <laughs> has 20 million videos on hers. I don't know if you guys know Durant's wife's a supermodel and she gets 20 million views. Personally for me, I'd be a little, uh, skeeved out by the fact that, 20 million men are looking at my wife, but no, whatever. No, look, that's you're, not, that's, that's you're, not you're a really, really confident guy. So that's great. That's true. You know, I do have, a, actually have, um, gosh, what, I think have two, two full-time bodyguards um, that man the front gate 
and uh, and then one full time in the back. So we're okay. I feel fine. It's good. It's good. As as long as, long as Lauren's not freaked out by it. Oh, uh, dude, she she, car- she carries nine millimeter everywhere she goes. I mean, She's whenever crazy. you guys get into an argument, is she just like, look, twenty million men? Yes. Grand. No, you and know, what? I chose you. Just just to clarify this real quick, it's that's not the case. My my wife my wife actually had a friend that had a had a had a video that went viral on our account. And, uh, and then we sort of just backed it up with some funny kid videos and this video is my wife, but they're nothing, there's definitely nothing provocative at all. Um, in my opinion, right. um, no, no, they're, I, they're not provocative, but, 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 but she yeah. is, she is a model. She is easy on the eyes. And she's a pretty girl. That's for darn sure. So anyway, um, but anyways, I, I will, uh, I will so that my tip of the week is uh, is crowdcon.com. So again, go to that website if you're in need of a uh, a writer for your website. Right. So I'm I'm going to put that in the show notes. Crowdcontent.com. Correct? That's it. Correct. And my tip of the week is going to be meetup. Meetup.com. So start your own meetup or go to someone else's meetup and start networking that way. You never know what's going to happen, and. Uh, yeah, I think this was good. How do you feel about it, Duran? I feel great. You feel good? All right. Well, if you want to learn more tips, tricks, techniques, go to www.thelandgeek.com. And we're doing a new thing now. Instead of just subscribing, you've got to register. So we want your name, last name, email address. We want a little bit more information. Uh, but because you're going to do that, we're going to give you a lot more. And included in that is going to be the Passive Income Blueprint, Three Fatal Land Buying Mistakes. You're going to get the podcast delivered to your email each week and uh, the Coffee Talk videos as well. So there's going to be a lot more in-depth content for doing that. So register on thelandgeek.com and look, buy some wholesale land, right? FrontierPropertiesUSA.com if you're not just interested in the education and you're interested more in wholesale land. And of course, give Durant some love. He's working so hard. Go to reserveland.com, check out landhub.com, especially for those of you looking to syndicate your properties everywhere. And uh, Duran, thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day. And please, next week, let's do something about that voice, okay? I'm working really hard at fixing that. Sorry, sorry, folks. I apologize. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send him some, what is it, Ricola? Would that help? Maybe that will help me. I don't know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Mark Podolsky, the Land Geek, with Duran Frazier saying, make your week productive, extraordinary, and send out some offers. All right, we'll see you next week. Thanks a lot. Thank you for listening to another episode of The Land Geek. Join us next time for more tips, secrets, and information that will help you succeed. Stay connected with The Land Geek on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelandgeek.